Hello you guys, this is Mrs. Pruitt Britton again, um, wanting to do a lesson with you guys about how you can memorize the unit circle's coordinates um, using angles. Um, using the angles all the way around the circle, similar to the way that we did in class. So let's do this really quickly. Um, the thing I always like to, well, first of all, we're always going to start here. This is our starting or initial point and we go counterclockwise to be positive so that's just a reminder to you guys uh -oh. um the major sides of the triangle that we talked about were the square root of three over two one half and the square root of two over two and what's really cool about these um well i think it's cool what's makes it easy to remember is that these two guys will always be paired together either the root three over two is first or the one half is first but they're always going to be together and then this guy right here is just always going to be doubled so let's take that off and see how we can remember or memorize these little points all around the circle. So, a reminder, the distance from the center of the circle to the outside of my circle. Wow, this color is not showing up. Is one unit. Talk about that in class. So the point here would be 1 and 0. Pretty easy. Um, I always just remember that the very, 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 very first number going up, um, the first coordinate going up is going to be root 3 over 2. If you can remember that, that will help you fill out the rest of the entire circle. Um, so, I'm going to put that this is root 3 over 2. As we talked about earlier, his partner in crime is always going to be 1 half. The next one, and this is true all the way around the unit circle, is going to be root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. Um, I can't see the other. Okay. Um... Those two guys are always paired together. So that goes with uh -oh. with this point. That goes at that point. And at this point, it is going to be the opposite of this initial one. Um, so instead of root 3 over 2, I'm going to put 1 half. Oh, and then root 3 over 2. Now, um the same one unit or my radius that was has the length of one unit would now be here of course that we should know then that its coordinates should be 0 1 the length of your radius does not change um the positions um at the 30 45 and 60 degree angle you know those are those positions are not exactly one. We talked about that in class that they're actually the hypotenuse of um, special right triangles. Um, but let's keep going around the circle. I'm using the angles to help you remember. Like I said, kind of what we did in class, picking a color. So if you would notice this triangle. This triangle, let me say, I guess it's not a triangle. And in this um, view, they are all sectors. You see they all have something in common, right? They all seem to be reflected over either the X or Y axis. So all four of these points are going to have the exact same coordinates, except... Except some are going to be positive and some are going to be negative, like we did in class. My positive x values are there. 
my negative x values are here. My positive y values are here. My negative y values are there. So using that information and using what we already have right here, I'm going to fill out the other parts of the unit circle. So right here, I know that it's going to be root 3 over 2 and 1 half. However, this is telling me that on this side, x should be negative. So I'm just going to put negative right there, and I'm done. Um, right here, this will also have the same coordinates, square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. However, both my x and y values are negative in this third quadrant over here. So I'm going to put a negative in front of both. Last but definitely not least, um, this is going to be the square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. However, on this side, my x values are positive. It is my y values that are negative, so I'll just put a negative right there. And I'm done with that angle. Okay, so now I'm ready to move on to the next angle, and here it would be my 45 degree angle. I notice that it is root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. So on this side, it's going to be the exact same thing, root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, running out of room. Um, however, my x's are negative on this side and my y's are positive, so I'm just going to put a negative in front of the x value. Over here, third quadrant root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. My x's are negative and my y's are negative. So I'm going to put a negative in front of both. And over here, it's still root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. Here, my x values are positive, my y values are negative. So I'm just going to put a negative in front of there. All right, you guys. Um, now I'm going to do, starting at my reference angle of 6 degrees right here. Sorry about my little triangle. Um, as you can see, the angle is rotated over the x-axis and the y-axis. I don't know why that happens. Stop it. At these points. Alright, so... That means that all four of these points are going to have the same coordinates. Um, when we did it in class, they were the same right triangles. We just reflected them over the x and y axis. So um, over here in the second quadrant, I guess I need to draw an arrow here too. I know it's going to be 1 half, root 3 over 2. However, mm -mm. I know on this side my x's are positive. My y's are positive here, my x's are negative here, and my y's are negative down here. So this is telling me that in the second quadrant, my x should be negative and my y's positive. So let's fill in the rest of these. I'm going to the third quadrant. They have the exact same coordinates, but in the third quadrant, both of these are negative. And now I'm going on to the fourth quadrant. They have the same excuse me, the same values, root 3 over 2, except in the fourth quadrant, it's y that's negative, so I'm going to put a negative in front of that y. The only other things that we have to do is mark off this point. Again, the radius of my circle is 1, but on this side, my x is negative. I'm going over negative 1, and we're going up 0. And down here, turn it to the side. Still, my radius is the same and it's going straight down. We're going zero on the x-axis and we're going negative one on the y. And that's how you can use angles for the unit circle.